Ben, Sarah, it is still hot out right now, long after the sun went down. So you can believe that earlier this evening, it was definitely still hot out. That's why families were so excited to have some extra time to splash around in the pool today. The weather this week can be summed up in one word, hot. And it's going to stay that way for a few days with a heat wave likely headed our way. Today, it feels like a really hot summery day where it's just perfect to do on pools and swing doors and plenty of fun things like that. Many families did just that to try to beat the heat. <laughs> Even in the evening, temperatures were near 90. That's why Vernon extended the hours of its community pool this week to stay open until 8 o'clock. Especially during the work week, yeah, have your day of work, get your dinner, and come on down here to cool off. Having that extra time is helpful for parents looking for ways to keep the kids cool. It is super convenient. The extra hours make it great for weekends or weekdays after work to come to the pool. Because we don't have a pool at home, so it's nice to be able to come here and enjoy it. They love it. While so many people look for ways to cool off, towns and cities have been dealing with lifeguard shortages. Here in Vernon, though, they've been able to overcome that obstacle. We definitely had a um, hard time getting lifeguards this summer, but fortunately we are able to staff this pool here seven days a week fully, and um, they really stepped it up and took some extra t shifts this week to be able to accommodate the, the heat wave and the hours. Which is good news because the need is there this summer, especially during this week of high heat and humidity. We love it. We live around the corner, so we've been utilizing it a lot this summer. This week, the community pool here in Vernon will be open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., but the lifeguards do take a short break from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., so it will be closed during that hour. The Parks and Rec Department did say that they will consider the possibility of doing this again later on this summer if staffing allows for it and if we see another heat wave like the one that we're expecting this week. Live in Vernon, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.